My name is Haley, and today I shall be your tour guide on the similarities and differences between Amish quilts and the AIDS Memorial quilt. The quilts have been placed into separate rooms in order to see their physical differences first. In each room, I will go over their history, the principles of design, and the elements of art they follow. Despite their differences, I believe the quilts have a similarity and message. How is that possible? Let's find out. Oh, and before I forget, there will be a recap at the end in case you are still confused. But, anyway, anyways, we're going to take a to, uh, look to the left here to the Amish quilt room. As you can see, this room was designed to create a feeling of home. Since this icon of a traditional quilt was, or has the fun function of being a bed covering. I chose the center diamond quilt because uh, it is an Amish favorite. On the wall here are the indexes that went into the making of this quilt, which are mainly the dyes that color the fabrics. And before we get any further, allow me to provide some background on the origins of the Amish quilt. It was created in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania by Amish the men around the 1860s and 1930s. The Amish had a plain and simple way of living, as shown by their, their use of solid colors and geometric shapes in their quilts. The Amish women would gather in groups of 20 to 40 to finish a quilt at a, an important social event called a quilting bee. It was a social event because they gave Amish women a chance to share news or gossip. Collectors today would ordinarily seek quilts made from this time period, with creating a legacy that I categorize as commercialized because it has a marketing appeal of do you want a traditional quilt? And as you can see here on this page, it follows all the principles of design or bumpier C, balance, unity, movement, proportion, illusion, Emphasis, rhythm, and contrast. And of course, we can't forget the elements of art or the building blocks of the artwork, which are line, shape, form, space, color, value, texture, and a unique but optional oh, oh, last element of type. I'll admit that, that this 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 quilt took me a while to research because of its authenticity in the market. I was able to narrow it down, though I did end up having to spot and a lot more time I'm trying to figure out uh, which was fact and which was fiction. Oh, and speaking of which, we should we should probably move, move on to the next quilt. The AIDS Memorial Quilt. All right, here we are. And in this room, I have it was designed. You can see that it has been designed to be a mix of museum and outside because its function was to be a memorial. I chose it was panel thirty nine particular because I believe that it is the best it was the best pencil panel to show the difference between the Amish quilt and the AIDS memorial quilt and now a brief history behind the making of the AIDS quilt it was first invented by Cleve Jones in November in 1985 he asked others to write, write the names of loved ones on placards who have who had died to the AIDS pandemic. The first panel of the quote was created in memory of his best friend and Marvin Fieldman. It was displayed for the first time in October 11, 1987 in Washington, D.C. and had only about uh, 1,920 panels back then. It, in the later years, uh, 1992 specifically, the quilt included panels from every state and 28 countries. It is now on display 
in San Francisco and online. This symbol of social unity was categorized as catalog because of the craft that went into the quilt's design. On its own, it has a declarative command and to raise awareness of AIDS through statistics, the numbers of names on the quilt. And as you can see here, it follows the rules of Bump Your Seat and has the uh, same form in the elements of art. So, um, key differences I noticed while researching was that it is very symmetrical compared to the Amish quilts in terms of being split into groups of eight for each panel. It has, and has no center design. It can be read top to bottom, left to right. It also has different textures from all the materials that I will show in a couple of seconds and has text on the quilt instead of on the very top. It was easy to search for because of its function to raise awareness. With that being said, that concludes it for this section. And now, you'll move on to what I'd like to call the recap room. Here was the examples of materials used I mentioned earlier. They range from wool and cotton, le leather, items like hats, priceless items like jewelry, the name stacks that I mentioned earlier, and even significant uh, other significant items. And now we go to the recap room. So, to recap what we've gone over in this video so far, the Amish quilts came from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania and have the key characteristics of using solid colors and geometric shapes and were traditionally made around the 1860s to the 1930s. For the Yates Memorial Quilt, it was created in San Francisco by Cleve Jones. The idea began on November 1985 and was first displayed in Washington, D.C. in 1987 and is both available online for viewing or for or in person at where it all began. The similarities were in it, the its four being both three in three D with length, width, and width and depth. They're both community artworks, and their collective message was unity for a social cause, whether it was as to gossip or to rally against and the social issue or to raise awareness. If you want to do your own, if you want to do your own personal research, I would recommend giving a visit at the Amish County Lanes dot com site for the Amish quilts. And for the AIDS quilt, I would recommend going to the AIDSmemorial.org site. With all this being said, thank you to everyone involved in this video. And just thank you for watching. And I will see you all. Well, I'll see you all around. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.